Hi guys, today I would like to talk to you about one of very common Hoyas. So to me, it's actually not common at all. To me, it's underrated and it's amazing. So this is actually a Hoya Lacunosa Snowcaps. And the reason why I want to make a video on that today, because it's actually blooming. So we are in, in the end of January and it's blooming its little heads off. So it's really, really pretty and leaves on it is gorgeous. It's have um, white splashing all over it and the new leaves come out pretty red. It's very, very pretty. Uh, pretty easy Hoya to take care of also and it's a really really good bloomer it's actually bloomed for me end of it started the end of spring last year it's bloomed throughout the rest of the spring the whole summer and fall then it took a tiny little break and then took off again so it's definitely very very rewarding Hoya and I love the way it grows it's very uniform it's very clean look um, it stays pretty small, so I really like this. It grows on my north window, um, just hanging there and doing its thing, and it's, it's, it's loving its life there. So if you guys want to pick one up, I would probably do it now, because buckle up. 2021 looks like we're getting on the Hoya train, and I'm pretty sure this Hoya, common Hoya, um, will become less common and seems like seems like this year people love the silver leaves and splashing and all that kind of stuff and um and this guy definitely has a lot of it so um and also i would like to share with you how i propagate this hoya i actually try to keep things very very simple because what I find with myself personally, when I overthink it, I kill my plants. So I actually, propagation, I make it super, super simple. I basically just take a cutting and I just soil propagate, at least this particular Hoya. I do propagate in water too. I have tried um, sphagnum moss. I don't really love sphagnum moss. I mean, there is things I would still propagate in it, but I really don't love it. And this particular Hoya, I find it the easiest way to propagate for me, at least, is soil propagation. And then you cut out all this other steps that people take, because I've seen people propagate in water, then they slowly move it to sphagnum, then they slowly to move, move it to soil. And to me, that's just too much work. That's just too much work and overthinking, overdoing it. So keep it simple, keep it easy, keep it fun. So so basically what I do is um, I just propagate in one of those little cups. I cut the hole at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can, you probably can't see it, but basically what I do, I just take a pair of scissors, just cut a little little corner not corner a little side of it off so there is a, some kind of drainage and basically i use very very um chunky soil mix so i have here i have orchid bark i have a soil i have um perlite uh i have what else do i put in here i have a little bit of charcoal and also i put a little bit of coco coir in there and sometimes I even sprinkle it with cinnamon. It makes my soil smell good. And also it does kind of controls the bacteria. So basically that's what I do. And um, it's like, it's chunky, it's very grainy. So it have very good drainage for my Hoyas. And what I do is I fill up the pot with the soil. And I like using actually just a teaspoon sometimes because it's small enough. So fill it up with soil. And before that, I mean, I already cut the piece because I, you do want, once you cut your plant, you always want to let it dry out a little bit on the tip because you don't want it open wound there. So when you put in the soil, you don't get any kind of bacteria in there. So I, this, this guy been laying here for about an hour. So it seems like it's totally ready to go. And what you wanna do is you need to find a, a 
strand or vine <laughs> with more mature leaves. And what you do is you cut. I usually cut right here, like I would cut it right here. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I would cut it right here, right before the leaves, anywhere you want. If you want a longer strand, you can cut it lower. That's anywhere you want. A lot of times I actually have done it when I would cut each node and just have a bunch of them. So this way I don't use too much plant material and have a lot more plants. So, so basically you can cut right here before the leaves and uh, in this way the cut would look nice and neat because it wouldn't have any anything sticking out. So you cut it there let it dry out for a little bit make sure you always sanitize your shears i always sanitize with alcohol i have my little alcohol spray bottle although it doesn't spray anymore so i use one of these and so sanitize it let them dry and then you go for it and cut as many pieces as you want and you can even look as individual nodes or the whole strand and basically what you do after you just put them in there and i do use a little um like a chopstick works for me. So I just make a little hole in there with the chopstick and I just plop this little guy in there. Although it just, oh, there you go. So you just plop it in there and then I just water it. And the drainage hole will let me, will let the excess water drain down. So, and once it drains, what I do, I just put in my propagation box. So if you guys don't know what propagation box, and if you want, I can make a video on that. It's basically a plastic clear container, and I like to get them with the clear top because you want light to go in there. I, I drill some holes on top of the lid, and basically I just put a bunch of these guys in there, and they love in it. I honestly, they, they like I don't even have to check in on them for quite some time. I might be watering them once once a month or so. I don't know. So it's, it really, they just stay, it stays humid in there. And because I drill holes on top, it does have air circulation and you want to put it somewhere, somewhere bright um, where it gets bright light, which mine usually on my uh, door wall on the north window. And it seems like it's getting just enough light to grow these guys. And uh, they root pretty easy, just like that. Skipping all these other steps, they, they root in the cup pretty fast, pretty easy, in fact, this guy right here, I actually potted up, I wanna say a month ago, if that. And I did get it, get it out of, got it out of my um, propagation box not too long ago and I put it in my greenhouse cabinet, which I have video on that if you guys wanna see it. And um, it's, it's growing very good. And this peduncle was here before, but there's another one is growing right there this little tiny little nub that's another peduncle that's growing and that's grew while it was propagating in a propagation box and now that it's getting even more light in my grow cabinet it's actually leaves are so pretty they are red they are really really red so 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 pretty so i'm definitely keeping this little guy and there is roots i mean you can see and that's one of the reasons why i like to propagate in the clear little cups because you can actually see the roots right there. It's literally <laughs> within the month it grew that much. I mean, the whole cup is, it's all the way to the bottom. So basically this is what I do. It's super simple, um, very, very re rewarding Hoya. I honestly haven't failed with this Hoya at all. And, um, and it's one of my first Hoyas that I have, have gotten. When I got this Hoya, I didn't really know much about them and i successfully grew it and i have really no trouble with that so i would i would think if you guys just starting out with hoyas or any plants and you would like to branch out to hoyas that's definitely the one to start with it's it's very cute it's very easy doesn't take a lot of space um like this pot this is i want to say six inch pot and it's half so many plants in there. It's, I don't even know how many. So, so it, it, it just, it's just a very, very beautiful plant to have. All right, guys, so this is it for today's video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to be friends, definitely subscribe, which is actually was brought to my attention. A lot of people don't realize that subscribing is absolutely free. So if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, please do. And you can unsubscribe anytime you feel like you're sick of looking at me. That's totally fine too. So I guess go for it. Let's be friends. All right, you guys, happy planting. Bye. Thank you.